going to place the steak in the refrigerator to marinate for one hour. 15 minutes before the hour is up, we are going to put our oven to preheat at 250 degrees as I mentioned. dry rub and this is the meat that we have here just give it a better view here and this is the meat we're going to use I have two All right so so I'm gonna put back on the light for a second all right so now I am going to take each one of the steak and we are going to place it onto the sauce, the rum. I'm going to make sure that it is properly well coated on either side. In this demo for this uh, rub, I did not add any salt because my complete seasoning has salt and the garlic and herb have salt so if you want a little extra salt you can add but i didn't all right so this is what it looks like when it's ready beautifully coated and we're going to allow this to marinate for an hour or I would say the best thing is to like do it overnight so it'll be more a more intense flavor but you could do it in an hour two hours prior and at least 15 minutes before putting it in the oven make sure and have that oven heated up now we're going to cook this at 250 degrees so we're cooking this low and slow all right so I'll come back when my two pieces of steak is coated and ready for the oven. So as long as the boat's steak are properly well coated, we are going to place them into my baking dish. So this is the other one. You can see how properly well coated this is with my dry rub, the link is above, don't forget. And we are going to place that into our refrigerator for one hour. As I said, this could be done overnight or three or four hours prior. It all depends on the intensity of the flavor that you would like to get on your meat. But the longer the better, the sure you will get a nice intense flavor on your meat if you leave it as long as possible. All right, so. This is the meat. One hour after, we are going to put it into the oven. Don't forget our oven has been preheated. And we're going to cook that for one hour in the oven, then remove it. Remove the liquid so we can use that to make a sauce. All right? I'm going to use one tablespoon of this real honey. So I'm going to use one tablespoon. I 
Sorry, I'm going to use some. Also, one tablespoon. Also, one tablespoon. This is what it looks like 40 minutes after I remove the liquid from it and put it back in the oven. I baked at 250 degrees Fahrenheit for one hour, remove the liquid, then place it back in the oven for 40 more minutes, same temperature at 250 degrees Fahrenheit for 40 minutes. So all together, total cooking time was one hour, 40 minutes. Remember, I marinated this for one hour. Okay, let's continue. So this is another way in which I use my sweet, smoky dry rub. Again, that demo would be above in the cards and at the end screen. And I had this steak with some lentil peas and some split peas dumplings. It was rather delicious. Everything paired wonderfully together. Thank you all so much for stopping by and checking out this quick, delicious demo. Don't forget the links are above and at the end screen. Now we're going to take our hands and mix this in. Let me give you a better view from this side. So we're going to mix it, make sure it is incorporated well and store in a cool place. Make sure that you have an airtight 